You can find written instructions for this tutorial on techify.co.uk. Hey guys, Techify, and today I'm going to be showing you how to route your Kindle Fire HD. So, I've already done a video on this, however, however, it was using a bit of an unusual app with different languages, and it was quite difficult to help you guys if you had a problem because I didn't understand the error message and neither did you. However, this method does require a computer, it is much more reliable and I'd recommend it over the previous one however if you don't have a computer I definitely go back and try that one because it's still safe I'm on the 2012 Kindle Fire so that's all I can confirm it works on and it's a bit riskier to try it on other devices as I cannot predict the outcome so guys let's get into this <laughs> So guys, what you're going to want to do is download this .zip file off the links in the description on my website and you're going to want to extract it, so right click and press extract all, then press extract. You'll either get this pop up, but if you don't, it'll create a little folder anyway. So you'll get these two things, you'll get another folder and what's called Kindle drivers. So you want to double click that, your Kindle shouldn't be plugged in yet and you want to press yes, mine already installed but you want to press yes, install and it's just a matter of clicking oh, didn't think you'd see that, I just press next it take a bit, then you just press finish and yeah, you just close that out then on your device, on your kindle sorry you want to sc swipe down, as you can see I'm not rooted I'd recommend an app like root analyzer to verify if you have root you want to go down, more and um, as you know I'm on 7.5.1 but anyway you want to go down to security you'll see enable ADB you want that to be on and press OK on the warning and ADB allows our device to basically communicate properly with the computer sorry for knocking the camera there so you want to then plug it into your computer and it should come up and there you go you want to click on the root with restore blah 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 and you want to click the run me and you will see this so thanks to this guy for providing it it also has a non root option however I found that didn't actually work which is a shame but oh well anyway you want to press 3 you want to just go home on your kindle and just press 3 which all get, it says old but don't worry just click that and it will start doing its thing and yeah you'll get this and you have to press restore my data we haven't got anything backed up this will do nothing if you press do not restore it'll just mess up basically then you have to wait 10 seconds and our device will start to reboot so yeah just let it do that and I will be back when our device has booted up so our device has booted and as you can see you want to unlock it, it's going to be slow, sluggish as you can see the lock screen was black, apps aren't loading so all this is going to do now is we need to wait for the device to once again sh appear on the computer, once it's done it's already going to start copying what it needs to do to root and reboot itself so once again I'll be back when we're rooted when we're booted up sorry so guys we're booted up and it says kindle is upgrading starting applications that's because this root method also installed super su for us so let's unlock the device and there we go so if i click root analyzer as you can see our device is rooted no problems there and also there we go we also have super su it's not loaded there we go we have super su which is a great app for enabling root well not enabling root but allowing you to control root and what apps have access to root and which don't so guys thank you guys for watching and yeah i'll see you in the next one